Hey there, laughter lovers. Welcome back to Joke Daddy Hassan, the home of humor with a holy twist. I hope you're ready to chuckle, chortle, and maybe even guffaw because today, we're putting a comedic spin on the sanctuary. That's right, we're serving up a divine dish of hilarity with a side of sanctity. So sit back, grab your pew, and prepare to pray for more jokes. Today, we're delving into the lighter side of church life with our special feature, 10 Sacred Comedy Jokes. Now, let's raise the roof with laughter. Our first sacred comedy goes like this. Why did the pastor bring a ladder to church to take the congregation to a higher level? Talk about elevating our spiritual journey one step at a time. Next up, what's a priest's favorite type of puzzle? Crossword puzzles, of course. Because solving the mysteries of the universe is just another Sunday afternoon activity for our puzzle-solving priests. Ever wonder what the church coffee says to the creamer? You make me holy! Ah, the magic of a little dairy divinity in your morning cup. Here's another. Why did the church hire an artist to draw people closer to God? Picasso might have had his blue period, but we're all about the divine doodles. What's a nun's favorite game? It's habit forming. And no, it's not a bad habit. It's a good old-fashioned game of fun and faith. And why did the pastor become a stand-up comedian? To deliver jokes that uplift spirits. Move over, Netflix specials. We've got heavenly punchlines right here in the pulpit. What's a nun's favorite ice cream flavor? Heavenly hazelnut. Because sometimes you need a scoop of divinity in a waffle cone. And speaking of heavenly bodies, what's the pastor's favorite exercise? The holy squat. Keeping those sermons strong and the spirits lifted. Why did the church start a book club? They wanted to read between the Psalms. It's not just about the verses. It's about the literary fellowship. Lastly, how do you organize a church picnic? You pray for good weather and pack lots of heavenly snacks. Because nothing says divine gathering like a basket full of laughter and love. That concludes our journey into sacred comedy, exploring the lighter side of church life. We've had a holy hoot sharing these 10 divine jokes with you. Did any of them tickle your funny bone, or maybe even inspire a heavenly chuckle? We'd love to hear from you. Share your favorite joke from today's video in the comments. This is Jokes Daddy Hassan, reminding you that laughter is a universal language. Until next time, stay blessed, and keep spreading the joy.